Hello besties. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I hope you are doing fantastic. I wanted to come on here and do a timeless read. All zodiac signs, this will be a twin flame reading. As long as it's not toxic, if you are on the twin flame journey, then this is for you. It's the current energy and we got four decks we're going to use. First, starting out with our tarot per usual, then jumping to LaRoche's Goddess Queen Just Me 23's deck. Check her out on YouTube. Then we're going to bring it home with the Beach Time Soul Oracle. And then we will do three Q&A question and answers. And I will get you some answers on specific questions. So you'll think of questions. This has yes, no answers, time frame answers, and other guiding words. But we'll go ahead and get started. Make sure you smash that like button and subscribe. Really helps your girl out. And you'll be entered to win a, a free private personal reading, tongue twister. But let's go ahead and get started. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Out through the mouth, putting good energy into the cards. God, energy source, your ancestors and mine because we are energetically aligned. What do we need to go ahead and know about our current twin flame energy on this journey? What do we need to know? Well, definitely you're in your Queen of Cups energy. So you're being very patient, very nurturing, thinking and leading with your heart space. Really making those decisions based on your sincere feelings and sticking with your gut. Um, it's like a deep feelings and deep interests that are guiding you in. You're kind of able to bring into fruition. It's kind of, like I said, leading more of that heart space. Ooh, okay. Yeah, so you're finally getting the recognition that you deserve with the Six of Wands coming out. So you're going to have a success, a victory, you know, finally getting recognized for, you know, how you feel, what you give, what you have to offer. And it's definitely an achievement as well for, you know, if you want to be in the spotlight or it could be to the point where someone's watching your social media because, you know, it's getting that recognition. It's that influencer energy hello oliver j um and being in the spotlight what also flipped over in the deck is the ten of cups so this is a happily ever after you know this is exactly what you want abundance health wealth prosperity love gratitude anything that radiates at that higher energy level you're definitely bringing in a long-term a stable connection with your twin flame yeah this is definitely going to be a quick decision by this person acting on impulses. I mean, I know I said this is timeless as I'm recording it. It is during Mercury retrograde. So that's return of the exes, miscommunication, all that stuff. But, you know, they're going to make a quick decision. Knight of Wands out here. So it's very impulsive. It's very, you know, focused on fueled by, you know, your sexual tension. It's like wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. They're definitely someone who wants to go ahead and ex is accepting this challenge and wants to come forward and fight for this. But this time around, it's going to come into an equal give and take with the Two of Cups energy. So that is a partnership, you know, shared morals, values, ideals, mutual respect, mutual love, mutual affection, everything you want and more. And then we had the Nine of Cups come out. So this is your wishes coming true. You know, your happiness, your positivity out here, you know, your success. It's basically, you know, just feeling like things are working out in your favor and you're being confident on this situation. Yeah, because you are the star first and foremost. So sorry, I have to cover the card. But once again, it's a recognition kind of energy. It's being in that creative flow. It's being in the spotlight. That's why I'm saying, you know, especially with this and the Six of Wands, it's kind of really like all eyes on you, babe. And I think, you know, you've gone through the spiritual transformation, the spiritual ascension, and now you're deciding what you want, what you need. And, you know, you might just ask this person to be patient. You're in your, it could be a page of swords situation where, you know, you're putting yourself first, you're being protective, you're being a little defensive, you know, curiosity killed the cat, but you're not concerned of anyone that stands in your way. You're going to go after your bag. You're going to do what you want to do. And yeah, it could just be a situation where you're feeling inspired and you're planning your future and really you're not putting pressure on your love life. But <clears throat> we have the Ten of Pentacles coming out. So 
This is long-term stability once again, but it is also a situation where you're building an empire together and really, you know, bringing in that stability and what you have to offer. Definitely, this is long-term, but it feels like things needed to go ahead and fall apart before they could come back together. So the tower moment, towers don't always have to be scary, but it's definitely a change in the environment, especially if things have been going one way, being stuck stagnant. And if you aren't getting rid of people, places and things that no longer serve you, the universe is going to take them out. And I think, you know, things were very imbalanced with the two of pentacles. Now they're coming back into balance. And, you know, it's going to be, like I said earlier, that equal give and take. If it's a balance between work life and romance, making time for your partner, really, you know, knowing that there has to be effort on both ends it's always not going to be 50 50 but it needs to be balanced it needs to go ahead and be flexible be there for the ups and downs and i think that's what you're manifesting this new beginning this new start that does look successful but there needed to be a change in the environment there needed to be this you know stagnant state where you're just like focused on you you know it's one of those things where you're just releasing you know focusing on where do you want to go what are you doing? You know, you don't really have much direction or anything like that. But I'm telling you, it's going to lead to the wheel of fortune. You're, you closed out those karmic cycles. You know, maybe that was codependency. Maybe that was, you know, dealing with abandonment issues, dealing with always needing someone there. But now good luck and destiny is working out in your favor here. And really that's bringing forth this foresight. So, you know, realizing that you got options, you know, you're getting and thinking that forward planning, like, I'm not just going to date to date, I'm going to date for a lifetime partner, I'm going to do XYZ, but you know, it's happy with what your choices have led you to whether that's getting self confidence, putting yourself first, walking away from those toxic situations, you know, it's experiencing life and learning from those past mistakes and those regressions out here because we literally have the eight of cups so yeah once again it's going deeper doing that introspection that was much needed and much deserved because you know you are healing that inner child out here because we have these six of cups so you're letting go of the past you're moving forward and you're really embodying that like forgiveness not for just yourself you like or for yourself not for others like you're not just going to forgive people just to forgive people do it for your own damn peace of mind and i think you're being mature and you're moving on and so that's leading to this justice situation where karmic cycles are coming to an end you learn those damn life lessons and now things are paying off you've stood your ground you stood in your honesty you know you apologized when you needed to apologize bad biddies and bad kings go ahead and take accountability and now you're wishing on something in this, uh, you're wishing on the success with our lovely, uh, you know, world card out here, lucky number 21. So yeah, this is a full cycle coming to an end and you know, it's a completion, it's a fulfillment, realizing what you need, once again, what you need, what you deserve, what you want, and finally now seeing it manifest into the 3D. So whatever you can manifest up here, you can have in the 3D. And I think you're realizing like, your attitude towards things, you know, walking the walk and talking the talk is really going to pay off as you put energy towards what you want to go ahead and accomplish. But let's go ahead and jump to the Rasha's deck and see what else we need to know about this twin flame connection, which seems to be coming back together and things needed to come into balance. Literally right away, we have the solar plexus, solar plexus chakra and so you know that's that free will your ability to say yes or no you know standing in your power like i said the decision is going to be yours when this comes back because you know there's going to be a switch in the dynamic out here and so it's really understanding that you know this is on a time exposure you know he he or she i'm just going to say he because it's the divine masculine energy was probably running away from this connection or having like a karmic on the other side or having a deal with, you know, shit not going their way and getting their karma because, you know, everyone gets karma for different situations. But 
there's nostalgia. So they're definitely missing you, reviewing your past, looking at old photos and videos. They're, they're reminiscing right now. That's because when they do come back, they know that they're going to have to pursue you. They know that they want you. And it's a situation where it's like, please stop abandoning me. Don't run away. Don't neglect me. Like I'm telling you, the energy has changed and they don't want me to go ahead and admit this because keep it on the low came out with receipts. So they're going to be the ones that are going to have to contact you, come forward, express how they feel. And I say that at 1010, so closing of karmic cycles. You know, when you read this, you're going to be like, what the hell did I just read out here? But yeah, I think that might scare you off and you might run away from this and you might be like, it's a little too late. I'm focused on me. I'm focused on my abundance, my health my wealth, my spiritual health, you know, accepting all positive outcomes, money, financially in love. And I think, you know, you got, you got options probably coming in with this non-committal. Yeah. Because you're, you're like, you already done me a dirty once. Shame on me or shame on you. You do me twice. Shame on me or whatever that saying is. And then a third time you're like, I'm not going to take this half-assed bullshit you know, this betrayal, this, you know, feeling like I always have to go ahead and compete. Hose smile in your face the whole time they want to take your place. But definitely this divine masculine energy is very much up in their head because they think that you just view them as like a liar, manipulator, anything along those lines. And they're like, how do I come forward so that they know that I'm serious and they're not going to go ahead and just walk away from this situation? Because they have leveled up with the spiritual ascension. So they've gone through an awakening. They realize what journey you guys are kind of on. Even if they fully don't understand it to the extent you do. Where it's like, oh, twin flames. They just kind of know this is like, we're weirdly similar. But it's like, very passionate. But I don't get what's going on. Sometimes I want you. But then I've like, push you away. Then I want you. Then I push you away. But they've been getting a lot of signs and synchronicities about you. So they could be seeing your car, smelling your perfume, your cologne, anything along those lines, thinking that they see you from behind. It's one of those things. You might be showing up in their dreams as well, but they're ready to come forward and fight for you. So this could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio or Cancer. Nothing is a coincidence. I meant... <laughs> I meant Aries, Leo, Sag, but it could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I think I was looking at the Queen of Cups earlier. But um, when this person comes forward, there's going to be a lot of passion in this connection. And just real li a lot of passion in this connection. <laughs> Sometimes you can't make this shit up. But you're definitely going to have this undesirable urge. You're going to want to see where it goes. You're definitely sexually attracted to this person. It's going to progress very quickly. But... I just think, you know, you're learning your lesson right now that you might have to go ahead and walk away. You could be a air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But when this person comes in and they tell you that they love you and they profess their feelings for you, I think you're just going ahead and recognizing, is this love bombing? What is this? If they're still on, you know, their karmic shit out here, then that's the level I need to go ahead and put myself first and walk away. So I would just be careful of the way that they come back because I think, you know, you you want them to change. They need to show that they've changed. They need to show that they've worked on themselves as you've been apart and really have awoken to this connection because you have other options. Like I was saying, maybe it is that Cancer Pisces Scorpio. But I think, you know, you're ready to go ahead and see people for their true colors. And, you know, you're not going to be fooled. Once again, you're not going to be breadcrumbed. Once again, you're not going to settle for half-ass behavior. Even if that means, you know, focusing in on yourself and putting yourself first because your twin flame's making the comeback. Like I said, you are one soul split into two bodies. You have an insane connection. But when their feelings come off and they truly tell you how they feel, it's going to be up to you to decipher and not doubt yourself on the decision. You're going to know what you need to do. You need to trust your intuition, feel it in your gut, and come forward. Because I'm telling you, they definitely have cried over you. They're deep in their feelings, which is normal. Here's that Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy. But it needs more energy than just, you know, oh, I miss you. I, you know, it's cuffing season. All the girls, we need it. Need a big boy. I want a big boy. Give me a big boy. Anyways, but 
Moving along. You definitely have secret admirers watching you, spying on you, seeing what you're up to and whom. And I'm just letting you know, you're going to have options of people that want to come into union with you, want to celebrate with you outside of your twin flame. And it's just going to be up to you. Where do you go? Because you got a lot of fun, spicy, feral, fun and feisty times coming your way. But it's just going to be up to you to open up your heart chakra here and really realize you're worthy of love. You're worthy of a commitment. You're worthy of X, Y, Z. And then, you know, you might have this king or queen of pentacles coming in, wanting to build a home, life, a foundation, everything you want and more together because you've manifested your truest divine counterpart. So might be your twin flame, might be a soulmate coming in, but I'm just letting you know your twin flame's got some competition out here. But Let's get a few more answers from our Beach Time Soul Oracle, and we'll get any more clarification. What do we need to know about our twin flame and our current connection? Yeah, I tell you, you got competition with a soulmate coming through. So they're definitely concerned that you have a partnership, a soul tie that's going to come in out here, and um, you're attracting an unconditional love. So there is a dog barking right now like crazy. It's not my dog, but um, there's confirmation. You know, they could be in the dog house out here, um, but they want to give you this unconditional love, you know, this oneness, this passion, this spark, because the soulmate can offer you that love and that abundance out here. You know, I think you're manifesting exactly what you want. You're being grateful for it. You're being present in the moment. You're enjoying how things can go. But I think, you know, you might also be enjoying the attention of two different people, which is perfectly okay. But I think you're going to have to decide here soon, who do you want to bring in? Who do you love unconditionally? You know, who's going to give you that equal give and take, that affection coming forward and realizing what you need, what you want and what you deserve, because you're going to have Cupid coming in and being like, pew, 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 here's some love arrows. People are going to be obsessed with you, my love. And, you know, it's a surprise invitation or meeting. And like I said earlier, it's passionate. There's a lot of chemistry here. And, you know, it's having fun, having a good time and positive vibes out here. And I think you're going to realize who's worthy of it and who do you need to go ahead and release out here. Because you're asking for the security, the stability you want this person that's going to, you know, go with the flow, be your ride or die and have that endurance to go through life with you 110%. And, you know, you can miss from your past, but also want to go ahead and make new memories and decide where you want to take this. Because I'm telling you, it's coming in very quickly. Your sign's going to be 555. And just know there's going to be a sudden change epiphany in your life. Maybe it's a sudden person that just comes in out of nowhere because you are the phoenix rising. So you are starting a new cycle. You're going through a transformation out here. You're growing. You're having changes in your mindset, your vibe, your energy, and it's attracting so many different people. And I'm telling you, one of them is going to lead to a date out here. So someone who, you know, is putting themselves back out there, being open to those opportunities, seeing where things go, but definitely seeing someone new and giving that the option because you want this happily ever after and this happily ever after is on its way to you. I think some of you are going to pick the soulmate. I think some of you are going to pick your twin flame, but you got a ship of abundance coming in. So, you know, you're receiving what you need. You're moving forward. You're, you know, getting the closure issues that you need and I think most of you will be ascending past this and realizing, hmm, I deserve my worth. I deserve someone who's going to put me as a priority. I deserve someone who's going to build me up. Let's build an empire together, baby. And I think, you know, you've learned and grown and you're closed out those karmic cycles. And now you're preparing for this union. And I think you're ready to make those healthy choices and decide what you need, what you deserve. And you're not going to settle for less. You know, you're making healthy choices in all areas of your life. You've been building, building, building. You know, when people thought that, you know, they broke you down. You didn't break me, honey. You hurt my feelings, but you did not break me. And I think you're ready to go ahead and heal this heart. You've already done the work. You've sewn up this heart. You've tried to heal that inner child. You're trying to be a better person every single day. And now someone is definitely going to come in, welcome you. And, you know, get together and really understand where you guys have this opportunity to grow 
and love and appreciate each other and you're meeting the one your knight in shining armor your princess out here and i'm just letting you know you know endings bring new beginnings the coffin good things must come to an end so better things can fall into their place but you're attracting in this is the sun card in this deck this whole entire paradise this joy this love this gratitude everything you want and more is coming together for you but let's go ahead and do our three questions with our angel answers oracle i just think you know you got two options coming forward one probably hasn't grown up they're just really scared that they have competition and you have someone else that they're willing to come back and fight for you but i think this new option for most of you is going to be the best opportunity but Let's go ahead and think of three questions and I will get you some answers. So think about that question, that first one. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Out through the mouth, putting good energy into the cards. God, energy source, your ancestors and mine because we are energetically aligned. What do we need to know about our first question? Okay. This first question is... It definitely don't stop. So whatever energy you've been focusing on bringing forward, it's going to work out in your favor because we have the peaceful resolution. So a better outcome than what you could have expected for. And you got yes. So definitely whatever you asked about, this is balancing of the energies, kind of your higher self with the sun. And then with the moon, that's kind of like, you know, your shadow side. And you definitely have this improving health. So mental, physical, spiritual health. This is kind of like aligning of the chakras, filling up your own cup and, you know, putting yourself first. And by being able to be patient, you know, and being able to move forward and trust that, you know, you might have to not go with plan A, B, or C. It might be plan option D, E, F, or something along those lines. Oh, down to fuck. <laughs> but listen to your intuition. You're going to know what's best for you out here and I'm telling you there's something better so there's a better situation a new beginning a new start and there's going to be abundance so definitely look for 888 as confirmation for this entire question that you asked about could be on the license plate you know could be when you purchase something that could be you know the total something along those lines just get grounded meditate, get into spiritual practices and ask for those confirmation signs and build up that energy with God, universe, source, because this is going to be successful for you. But question number two, think about it. Think about it. Let's get question number two. What do we need to know about question number two? Okay, if you believe that this is going to happen and you put your energy and time and effort towards it, then it's going to work out for you because, you know, you might have to get some mental clarity and, you know, think through some situations, think through your approach, think through timing out here because right now it's a no. But as soon as, you know, you get into meditating and really focusing your energy on, you know, getting grounded, healing those traumas, you know, releasing, cutting old cords, you know, really asking for that patience, that guidance, it's going to work out for you because you just need to forgive yourself, forgive people around you and really be able to embrace and move forward on, you know, where do you want to take things? Because I'm telling you within the next few months, so two to four months, this is really going to take off because you're going to take action on this. It's kind of like wishing on a shooting star out here. Just reveal your mask. So Definitely with this situation, someone could be becoming vulnerable, revealing their true feelings and telling you where things can go. And I'm just telling you, romance is on the trajectory for this. So if you're asking about a specific person, definitely that is on the agenda that could be coming your way. Just release any need to control any energy. Just surrender to the divine and stop trying to control the who, what, when, where, why. This will be successful. But Think about question number three. What do we need to know about question number three? That was, we're not going to take all those. Okay. 
do, 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 do. Okay. There's going to be an opportunity. So if you were asking about money, finances, career, anything along those lines, or if you're asking about a person, it's like building an empire together. But this represents money, throw bands on these hoes, um, raining money on these angels. Your situation is going to improve, my love, and it's coming in perfect timing. So this is divine timing, divine intervention, definitely multiple streams of income potential. You know, you've put in the work because you're ready. So I would start to see signs of this in the next two Two days to two weeks, so two days to 14 days. But definitely a year from now, you are going to be completely renowned financially, financially free, or, you know, building some sort of situation with someone. Because I'm telling you, the answer is yes. If you were asking about a side business, a side gig, what do you want to go ahead and do? This hits 25-25 as I say this. Then there's going to be big happy changes in your financials. And once again, right below that, you know, we have within the next few weeks. So I think this is going to be long term stability, building up those multiple resources and really embodying that financial freedom, no longer being in fight or flight mode and really embracing the freedom that comes with, you know, being able to breathe and enjoy life and be present in the moment, travel, take your PTO, take those deep breaths and know that you are going to be financially secure. I love you so much, besties. Let me know if this resonated in the comments below. And I'm sending you nothing but positive vibes and good times. Happy New Year. And, you know, I love this money for us and I love this new beginning. So don't be scared just to start new because you're like, no one's going to understand me. They're not going to get me. They will get you. I love you so much. And until next time, remember you're a bad bitch and a bad king. And I love you.